Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Lena and I hope that you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in. I always appreciate your love and presence on my channel. Thank you for your support. Um, so I'm back with another reading. This is going to be a Turkish coffee cup reading. Uh, the topic is how's your money looking uh, for the next three months. That's the topic. Uh, so before starting the reading, in case you need any personal readings, you want to check my wish list uh, or you want to check other channel, the details would be in the description box of the video and um, you can feel free to explore that. So you have two options, two cups that you can choose from. This will be the cup for group number one. This is going to be the cup for group number two. If you need a moment to pause and then select your option, feel free to do it now. In case you want to listen to the whole uh, video and then take what resonates more with you again, feel free to do that. Always listen to your intuition. I'm going to start with group number one. Hello, group number one. This is going to be your reading. Um, so let's see. Um, I, while preparing uh, your uh, cup, I was already getting a message of like, you are leaving a trail, the kind of message that I got. As if you know, you are leaving an impression on people that you are doing very well financially, like that's how people are perceiving you. Like, you know, I got the feeling of like when someone passes by you and like they're using a good perfume. So there's a trail of perfume, you know, so I got a feeling like that. So it gave me the feeling as if you're leaving a trail. So, <coughs> excuse me, please give me a moment. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm back. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, and I'm also getting, uh, so you're leaving a trail. You're leaving an impression on people that you're doing really well financially or something has been working out very well lately for you when it comes to your money. I'm getting one more, uh, like I'm getting the vision of the violet color. Like I see a lot of violet uh, in my head. So that is giving me a feeling of, um, and I'm also seeing the vision of elephants. So this is giving me a feeling that next three months, you will see an improvement because violet or purple is kind of linked to royalty. Even elephants are linked to royalty. So that's how I'm seeing it. That you are going to see... Uh, oh, wow. I just now got a message that for some of you, if you are traveling in the next three months, you are going to get some kind of upgrade on your ticket. I don't know. This is very specific. If you are flying uh, in the next three months, if someone is flying here, you're traveling... You might get an update in your ticket is what I'm getting. Anyways, if it happens, do let me know. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I'm already channeling a feeling of your finances becoming better in the next three months. So let's see what's inside the cup. Oh, wow, that is nice. I'm hearing the word fluidity. Some of you might be selling some kind of assets, uh, like you want more cash or your, your assets are giving you more fluidity because I heard that, like I'm getting that cash ratio. I know I studied this in like my degree. <laughs> I'm get for some reason I'm getting those formulas. This is so weird. Like uh, I'm getting that formula of like cash ratio, assets ratio, something where you calculate the liquidity of your assets. So I'm sorry, this is not a finance video, please. I just channel that. Okay. Um, Uh, let me zoom in a little bit. Yeah. So if there is something that catches your eye, take, feel free to take that as a personal message to you. Hmm. What is that? I see something. Uh, excuse me. Wait. Yeah. Look at that. Um. <clears throat> This is so interesting. Uh, this is giving me the vision of an antler. Like this seems to me like an antler. And this giving me the feeling of like, uh, 
this is giving me the feeling of like a spirit guy like someone watching over you uh like someone is taking care of your needs at the spirit realm in the spirit realm with this i'm also this is so interesting i'm getting a message that this this uh this energy that i'm feeling around you is actually stopping someone from coming your way who is here to like something negative is being stopped and while i was saying that i also saw the number 44 and 33 and also 48 so i got those three numbers um double four 33 and 48 i'm getting this feeling that uh your this guide of yours is blocking an energy i see an eye here as well like this is like an eye like you are this is giving me the feeling of the eye of ra so you are being well protected with something negative that's coming your way and is trying to take away from you this could be like a toxic friend a toxic family member who is trying to take advantage of you financially but they will not be able to it's as if you know you will you will be clearly able to see through their bs and you will not be like they will not be able to sabotage you antlers always like usually antlers are seen as a sign of spiritual ascension but since we are doing a money read so i'll take it as you know like just because you're becoming so internally balanced, like there's this energy of internally being calm. Antlers always remind me of spiritual ascension. So just because you're internally calm, you are internally taking things like, you know, you are not rushing anything. And um, it's like you are becoming more rational. And in a way, you are taking your time to make a decision. You're not just quickly rushing into something. So you are going to avoid a lot of, uh, mistakes is what I'm getting uh, like you're gonna avoid a lot of like impulsive decisions when it comes to your money in my vision I'm also seeing a sun like a sun uh, with a with a face like you know how they do draw it on the comic books like a sun has a face something like that this is giving me obviously a very positive vibe sun is a oh wow what is that Oh, wait, let me. <clears throat> hmm. I'm also getting this message that some of you, you are going to take like um, you're going to spend a good amount of time in like a farmhouse because I saw the image of like people uh like they're spending good time around trees and you know like some people who do farm gardening i got an image like that so i don't know if you own farms or you're going to spend some good time in the farm like you're cherry picking your apple picking or something i don't know but i see that so for some reason i'm getting there's more relaxed time um things are going or moving a little slow but in a relaxed manner for you you don't seem very worried or you don't seem very much in survival mode to me it's gonna be a little easy on you <clears throat> there's an eye here hmm. okay alphabet i could be of some significance wait sorry sorry <clears throat> i'm getting the feeling of allergies so some of you this is i don't know this is very random um some of you you might be feeling a little allergic right now like for the last couple of days or maybe going forward you're gonna feel like you're having a lot of allergies or something um i don't know like or you have an allergic reaction to something so be careful uh, like what you're consuming. Uh, I don't know. I got something like that. Oh, wow. I'll show you something. This is giving me, like, when I look at this, this whole structure, this gave me the feeling of, like, a, 
like a motorbike or not motorbike what is that called uh they're used in rural areas i don't know what exactly they're i've usually seen these kind of things in countryside so i don't know some of you maybe you're spending quite a good amount of time or like in the countryside you're going for a vacation with your kids or family or something like it seems you have it's like um you're going to have good time you're not stressing over bills or something like that you like you have the opportunity to relax is what i'm getting oh wow let's see what's in the oh <laughs> All right, let's see the plate and then I'll pull you a couple of cards as well. I'm getting this message that uh, someone is going to approach you with a love offer. Like, I don't know, this is so random. It's not related to the reading. But someone is approaching you with an offer to get married is what I'm getting. It's, it's like something, like the energy I channeled is of the Hierophant card, which is the card of marriage as well. So someone is approaching you with like a love offer, like a marriage offer, to be honest. This could be very specific for someone or you guys are getting oh this could also be the message you guys are having some kind of destination wedding or like that's the reason maybe i'm seeing a lot of countryside images or visions in my head maybe you guys are getting married towards the countryside or something wow that was something hey what is that wait mm. This is giving me the feeling of a butterfly, this one. That's so interesting. You might be seeing a lot of butterflies. So this is a confirmation. This message is for you. <clears throat> I'm getting this message. This is channeled. When I looked at this, I don't know what that is. Like for some reason, when I was taking a glance at this, it gave me a message in my head and the message is that for some of you there is a very quick change coming it's like one day like overnight you're going to literally go to a place and move there permanently or this is this could be very specific like literally you know there is an overnight plan to move out somewhere or there's an overnight plan that hey you know what i'm just moving out of this city or this place and you finally decide to move this could be very specific for someone like there is some kind of overnight decision, like something that you quickly decide, OK, let's just do it this way. Um, wow. Or finally, you have the resources to make a decision. Finally, you have the resources. So finally, you're able to make that decision you always like wanted to. Let's see it like that. Oh, okay. So let's take, um, which one should I take first? Okay, let's take the cards now. So first I'll take the animal spirits. This one. All right. A couple of or uh, tarot cards. Oh, yeah. oh my god okay <laughs> i got the vision of like i remember kim kardashian like she when she built her new house so like 
I remember seeing one of her videos where she was giving the tour of her new bathroom and things like that. So for some reason, I got a vision of that video. So maybe some of you, you're actually buying a new house this year because I got the vision of that video where she was giving a tour of her new house. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe some of you are actually buying a new house this year. This is so nice, interesting. Bottom of the deck, we have the death card. This is what I'm talking about. There's a very sudden change that's happening in the next next three months. That's literally changing your lifestyle. Quick change. Wait, let me put that on the side. All right. I'm drawn to this. Oh, they're telling me to take all the four. Okay. This one. Up. Oh. <laughs> all right, enough. Okay, these flipped, so I'm taking. Let's start with the tea leaf, okay? What is up? <laughs> Mountain, a major challenge to overcome. Hmm, what is this challenge? Let me take a card. What is this major challenge? <laughs> the major challenge is your unwillingness. That's the word I heard. You need to be a little more active while making decisions. Like, don't keep... You know, I got a quote in my head that indecision kills a lot of dreams. So don't be so lazy to make decisions. Act a little quick, okay? Don't take too long to decide. I again saw the number three. Tulip, great uh, passion. For some reason, I was about to say fashion. So for some of you, maybe you're upgrading your fashion sense. You have more money now to shop better or get better things for yourself. That also could be one thing. Uh, funnel, period of frustration, lessons to be learned. Okay. Oh my god when i <laughs> okay you guys would laugh okay when i draw this when i drew this card for some reason i saw tinder written here for some reason that was so weird i literally saw tinder i don't know some of you you're meeting someone through a dating app i don't know uh climbing towards success ladder oh my god da 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 da, -da. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about marriage and this card is here. Like, this is a confirmation. Some of you, I feel your, actually, your money status is changing because you're getting married. Like, in the next couple of months, you actually end up meeting someone and it changes a lot of things in your life. Oh, my God. This is a confirmation, guys. I told you in the beginning, like with the beginning of your reading itself, I told you, I see good money energy for you. Uh, wow. Okay. Dark man, dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. For some of you, this is a confirmation. As I said, uh, there's someone in your energy or someone entering your life. That's actually, uh, it bring, it's bringing a lot of change in your life just because you meet someone new. All right. Wow, June is significant. The month of June could be significant for some of you. Or you might meet this person because these cards came out together. You might meet this person in the month of June. Forest, muddled, unclear thinking. This is what I got from the Four of Cups. Uh, the more you keep yourself in the confusion state, the more you're going to you know, delay something happening. So it's okay. Uh, don't sit with a decision for too long. Try to make a decision you know, like, don't try to just sit with it, uh, act, take more actions, and you will see things changing. Okay, what is that? Uh, fear, worries, and tense situations. Yeah. 
for some of you, I'm also getting this feeling that you might be building up scenarios in your head which may not even happen. So maybe you're thinking too big, like, oh, if what if this goes wrong? What if that goes wrong? So you might be thinking a little too much negative. So you need to keep a check on your thinking. Let's see your other tarot cards now. Wait, what? Ooh. Okay, I took them reverse. Uh, the chariot. Hermit. And oh, the intro card came out. Since these two cards are here, I'll give you something. Um, you're definitely becoming like, there's this energy where you're actually doing your inner work and you're actually trying to understand. My eyes keep going to this crab for some reason. Hmm. I'm, I'm also getting, with this, I got a message that for some of you, you're going to have a realization soon and it's going to be a little pinching. It may not be a pleasant realization. It will be hard for you to digest that is what I'm getting, like a sudden realization you have. And for some of you, I'm also getting a feeling your singlehood is ending because, you know, at the bottom of that, we saw that. So for some of you, that's the message. Your singlehood is ending finally. And finally, you're finding your match what number 49 rabbit spirit now is a lucky time wow that's a beautiful energy oh my god i always see swans as symbolic of love energy and surprisingly the number here is 60 six is the number of balance also the number of love self-love so this is so interesting <laughs> wow Uh, with this card, I'm also getting a message that some of you are actually having a realization of how you behave in love. Like you might be actually identifying some toxic trait about your own self when it comes to you being in a relationship, like how you behave with a person in a relationship. So that could be that realization you're having and you're deciding to transform yourself or deciding to change that habit or your behavior of yours. So that could be the realization that I'm channeling maybe. All right, so group number one, this is where I'll leave you with your message. I hope you resonated. Again, I'll see you on my channel with another video. Thank you so much. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye. Hello, group number two. This is going to be a reading. Uh, so let's see what's in store for you when it comes to your money for the next three months. All right. I'm getting a feeling that keep it to yourself, like don't discuss too soon. For some of you, there could be like an opportunity coming your way. So I'm getting work in silence, like don't make noise is what the kind of feeling I got. Don't reveal yet or don't make noise, work in silence. Not everyone is supposed to know your business. Okay, I'm going to zoom a little bit on the cup. Excuse me. Uh, number 28 could be significant is what I'm getting. Let's see what's happening inside your cup. Wow, I'm already seeing this as like a bird. Like this gives me the feeling of a turkey. A turkey or something like that. Hmm. I'm getting this feeling. And I also see an owl here. Like, wow. This one. Um, uh, I'm getting this feeling that for now, keep it to yourself. And one more message that I'm getting is uh, the next three months, you might have to actually like become more innovative when it comes to putting efforts into your work. All right. Like I'm getting this feeling that you may not see the material benefits or you may not see the material return of your efforts immediately but at the same time you have to keep going i'm also getting this message very specifically please give me a moment there's a lot of noise outside yeah okay so i was getting this message that the last quarter of this year is going to be very significant when it comes to you receiving the 
outcome or the material benefits of your efforts. So whatever efforts you put right now, they are going to materialize by the end of the year. So don't step away from putting efforts now is what I'm getting. Even if you don't see something happen immediately, like you don't see immediate results with something, you still need to keep going is what I'm hearing, okay? And keep doing it in silence. Doesn't matter if someone is asking you about it or whatever that shit is. But I'm getting this feeling, keep doing the thing, keep putting efforts, keep being innovative. You're going to start po- the results. You may start seeing the results pouring in by the end of this year, okay? The last quarter seems significant to me, like, November, December. Let's move it a little here. Hmm. Oh, wow. I see. Okay, what is that? Hang on. I'm getting the number 35. 35. Um, I'm also getting something related to a car. So I don't know, you're getting a car for yourself or you're repairing, like you're getting your car service done or something is finally getting fixed in your car or you're learning to drive. I don't know, like I saw something related to a car, okay? Um, oh, I'm also getting like a, I'm, I'm getting the vision of a snake when I look here. Like here, when I'm looking here, it gave me the vision of a big snake. Uh, with the snake, I'm getting a feeling that you might have to, you may have to re-strategize something a couple of times in the next three months. Like I'll give you a very simple example. Say, for example, you run a business and you you sell some products, okay? So you might have to re-strategize your, say, for example, the product labeling or the kind of product you're launching or the flavors in the product, whatever that is, you might have to re-strategize a couple of times or you're, say, for example, you're finalizing the logo in your business. So I'm getting this feeling of you might have to re-strategize something a couple of times and finally you will get it right. Okay, so be patient with yourself. Be patient with the process. I keep channeling this energy of patience with you guys. This is, oh my God, this is giving me the feeling of that honeycomb, okay? So honey bees always, they always remind me of hard work. So guys, <laughs> I get this feeling that next couple of months are going to be little, you know, you will have to work a little harder or you might have to work or be patient with yourself, okay? Patient with putting efforts. <clears throat> You might see crows a lot. I'm getting the image vision of a crow here. You might see crows a lot in the coming like next couple of days or weeks. <clears throat> you know, I got the vision of uh I don't know how many of you have watched Harry Potter, but in the Harry Potter when Snape finally reveals that uh you know in like Dumbledore and Snape are having the conversation and he finally reveals that expecto patronum charm the the lilies one and Dumbledore asks him what is this and he says like it was always with me so he says always so for some reason I channeled that vision like that scene from the movie so I'm getting this feeling that um you're finally going to unlock a secret like uh, something which was happening behind the scene but finally you get it like there's a revelation that happens and you're like wow I didn't knew that was happening so for some of you this could be in the form of like a hidden charge that could be the case like you were always being charged with something but you were not aware so you finally recognize that hidden charge and you're able to save yourself from that now so it could apply in any ways but since I channel that scene, um, I'm getting the feeling there's a secret coming out. So it could be in the form of like someone maybe in your team, like in your business work, maybe someone was actually causing you some losses. So you finally identify the cause of the loss and you're able to like correct that. That could be the case. Or someone maybe if you're working in like a corporate business, like a corporate team, 
uh, in your office, maybe you finally recognize who is responsible for the, you know, so something like that, that again, take how that resonates with you. I'm getting the vision of a stingray here, like a, maybe you can go back and check the meaning of like, what does it exactly mean spiritually? Because I'm seeing the image of a stingray here. Stingray. Uh, for some of you, I'm also getting this message that you might be the one saving your team from loss. Like in a way that you are the one identifying the problem and you might get rewarded for that. This could be very specific for someone. <clears throat> I'm also getting the number 28. So 28 could have some significance. Let's see at the bottom if we find something here. I got the vision of a penguin when I was looking at that. Uh, for some of you, I feel you are attracting like a like a business partnership where the person is really loyal to you like you're attracting or you are attracting good customers to you like i'm getting you're attracting loyal people in your business or in your work so whether this is a new colleague entering your team or this is your clients that you're attracting they're loyal clients they're good clients so i see definitely a lot of support from people around you <clears throat> If you recognize something, of course, you can take that as a message to uh, for you. Mm, what is that? Hang on. I saw the image of a little girl in my, like when I was staring here, it gave me the vision of a little girl. I'm also getting this feeling that for especially for people who are watching me, your parents, um, I feel your girl, like your little daughter might feel a little neglected by you because you're busy working. So make sure you're making time for your daughter. You don't make her feel like, you know, neglected or something. This is very specific. Okay, let's see what's inside the, like what's in your plate here. And then I'll pull you a couple of cards. <clears throat> oh wait <laughs> this is giving me the feeling of a mask like a mask yeah this is connecting me back to the message like uh you're finally seeing through something which was which was causing you losses somehow or which was detrimental to your money like you're finally recognizing maybe this is a habit of yours or this is actually a person who was actually um like causing losses to you or was bad energy for your money so you're recognizing that and you're cutting it out of your life mm. oh sorry <laughs> okay I'm also getting that you're finally entering into a contest. I don't know what that means. Like, I got that. This could be very specific for someone. Like, you're finally entering into a contest. Mm, or you're getting selected for something. Like, you're finally getting selected for something. That is very specific. With this, I got down south. I don't know what that means. Like, it gave me the feeling of down south. So that direction could be significant or this is a confirmation that you're moving down south, you're going, I don't know, you're traveling, something. All right, um, let's take a couple of cards for you now. Oh my God, 
<clears throat> Let's take your tarot cards first. Okay, one more. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Which one is the da 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 da? I'm getting the word financial advisor. So some of you, you are getting some help professionally when it comes to your finances. You might be deciding to get a professional help because I heard that. Like you're finally deciding to take someone's help to help you with something like finally. All right, uh, let's take this now. Oh, this is already trying to come out, okay. I'm hearing a song. I don't even know like who's the singer, but my milkshake brings uh, la 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 la. I don't know. I heard it somewhere in one of our video. I don't remember what that means, but I'm hearing that song. I don't even know who's the singer. I heard it in someone's uh, vlog or video. I don't know, like uh, content creators. Okay, enough. All right, I'm drawn to these two as well. Oh my God, okay, there are too many. What? This is what I kept saying, okay? Chair empty, someone is leaving your life. You're cutting someone out of your life. Are you serious, brother? Bro. <laughs> I was talking about the December month. I was talking about the last quarter of the year. Oh my God, this is a confirmation. Happiness. Yeah, you seem very happy to me in the last quarter of the year. Especially when it comes to your finances. Horseshoe, good luck. Wow. Like, you know, I, I'm, I'll give you something. Uh, like, the image that came to my mind was of Google Maps. So, you know, when you go the wrong way and you finally come to the right path and you're like, oh, finally we made it to the right track, okay? So, I got a feeling like for a bit you might go off track. You might have gone a little off track for a bit. Like, you don't know how to do things or you were actually... You know, there was something going off track for you. So finally, it's now coming back to place. Or you're finally coming to get back to the right road, right track. Uh, be careful. Do not take risks. Hmm. Oh, wow. Career. Mm. <laughs> April. Wow. It seems... Uh, something is definitely changing in the month of april like there's a change you're manifesting in your career in the month of april oh wow the most difficult part of a situation is over so this is a confirmation as i gave you so finally you're coming back to the right track are you okay come on out of all the freaking 12 months this cannot be a freaking coincidence i'm shocked to my like what the heck <laughs> this cannot be a coincidence. I was talking about these two months specifically at the beginning of your reading and this showed up. Like this cannot be a coincidence. Um, a fa an emotionally secure loving family is important to you. I'm also getting a message with this pers person, sorry, with this card that um, like... Just because things are now kind of falling into place for you when it comes to your career, slowly you see things moving your way. The, I'm telling you, the pace could be a little slower in the beginning. Like for the next three months, you will see progress, but not at the speed. Again, I'm not trying to disappoint you here, but you may not see it at the pace you wanted, but definitely changes are happening. 
and because of certain changes happening you're also able to now focus on your personal life or emotionally emotionally like what you want to do you have more time for your partner you have more time for your family or you're finally deciding to open up to someone okay okay let's take this brown bear spirit time sorry take time out number nine yeah this giving this is giving me the feeling of family like bears always remind me of like family <laughs> um number two antelope spirit life is speeding up yeah slowly but surely things are happening you will now see changes if the first quarter especially if you're resonating with this message that you know the first quarter of the year was little slow for you you did not see things moving a lot in your favor then this is a sign that things will now start moving i also see the number 13 one three that could be significant and 13 by the way also in a way represents endings so the difficult part of a situation is over Wow, okay, this is such a beautiful card. Oh my God, blessings. Ten of Pentacles. The Emperor, yeah, you're finally conquering what you want. You're moving in the right direction. This is such a big confirmation. Things are falling back into place for you. You are heading towards this Ten of Pentacles energy. Oh my God, Two of Wands, such a big energy. Four of Pentacles, yeah. You're slowly but surely moving from the survival mode to the Ten of Pentacles, definitely. Oh my God, this is so amazing. Um, I think, yeah, I'll read the reading here. No, what, sorry, what, what did I say? I think I messed up my words. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Okay, so I'll leave you with the reading here and uh, uh, all the best for the next three months. Take care of yourselves and thank you for being with me till the end. I'm going to see you again with another video on my channel. Bye-bye.